Let's walk through just what a person does. They come in and sit down at a computer and they're going to get online, they enter a couple of pieces of information about themselves and the computer does the rest. They put in an ID and a password, up comes a program and it welcomes them and up appears introductions to what they're going to do and make sure they know how to use the computer, that's all taken care of. So a very young person or a person not particularly familiar with a computer can still do this. Not a lot of typing involved. <clears throat> Once the questions come up, there are 14 sets of questions. We call those subtests or 14 different kinds of intelligences. These test questions are not like questions you've seen before. Most of them are figural type things or challenges to the brain really. Can you do this? Or find a perfect match to this. It's not asking you for what you learned, like when was Abraham Lincoln born or uh, when did the shuttle, uh, first shuttle go up. No, it's not that at all. It's basically looking at and challenging the tools of the brain, the intelligences. So there's 14 challenges of these intelligences will be done over a period, maximum period of an hour and 40 minutes. You don't have to sit there for an hour and 40 minutes. You can 10 minute work, get off of the computer, will bring you right back to where you were. Simple to take. It's kind of fun to take. It's not a boring test. When you finish that test, you hit a key. And the key pumps you out a profile showing you these 14 intelligences of profile. Some of these are nicely developed. In almost all cases, we find others aren't as fully developed as they should be. Well, that's your brain tune-up. That's like your mechanic looking at your car. How is it running? And you say, hey, you're getting by. You may be getting by very well, but you know what? You get, it would run better if you brought these, tune these tools up. So that's what the cognitive skill assessment and development. Now, the development part is we now know that to improve the brain, what one must do is one must target, well this tells us what do we need to target. If you're having trouble remembering memory, well what are the main things we, we cover in this test? Well, it's the way the brain works. And the main way we cover this is the first gear of the brain is cognition. And cognition just means understanding. Does your brain understand what you're asking it to do? And uh, an example of this is I can give you a trick question and say, I can put your brain on tilt. I'll ask you a question. You cannot ask me any questions. You have to give me an immediate answer. Here is the question. What is the difference between a duck? Now, it's a trick question, but you just experience your brain on tilt, which means cognition, understanding. The brain can't understand where it's supposed to go. So how can it get in gear and go there? Many people, and not just children, who are not, don't have fully developed cognition, that ability in the brain, that integration and ability in the brain, miss points a lot. They don't get it a lot. And there are other people we say, man, they're a quick read. That's a term we read. They can seem to grab it right away. That's cognition. And there's the obvious thing. We all need to hold information in the brain long enough to really evaluate it, sort it, and work with it. And that's called memory. So if I say to you, here are some numbers, one, two, five, seven, eight, four, one. And can you hold them long enough to give them back to me? And this is not a trick question, but I can say to you, how well did you hold them in your brain? Give them back to me backward. No pun intended. <laughs> and I can do that in many ways, but what I'm looking at is a process of the brain. Memory of different kinds, but it is memory. The third thing the brain does is, and this is the third set of cognitive skills we look at, is the brain has all this information. Right now I can say to you, where's your right foot? Tell me when you blink. Can you hear some sounds in this room? Is it warm? What did you have for breakfast? That's all there, but your brain focuses in. So as I, all this information that's flowing around in your brain as, as I ran all those questions by you, everything coming in from this environment, the brain has to focus. <clears throat> it has to take all this information that's flowing around, evaluate it, 
Well, your cognition is focused, you said. Oh, you want me to focus on this, the number of times I blink, okay. <clears throat> Can it hold in memory how many times you're blinking while other things are going on? Then the brain gets rid of a lot of material that is superfluous to the task at the moment. It evaluates the information for you. You don't do it consciously, and it throws it out if it doesn't need it, and it holds on to some of the other, and that's your working memory as well as your evaluation and classification working together. Now, what are you doing all this for in your brain? To be able to solve a problem, make a decision. And making a decision is solving a problem. And a problem isn't math or asking you a question. The problem is, do I move my legs? Do I get up from this chair? Do I whatever? That, that, those are tasks or problems. So the brain does this all together. But we can isolate these functions of the brain, and if you look at the brain with these incredible new instruments like positive, uh, you know, positron uh, emission technology or PET scanning, you can see the brain lighting up when it's doing these different things. It's an incredible process, but we can look at it in the simplified fashion. If we identify your brain and what's functioning, we know due to plasticity that we can increase these underdeveloped intelligences to the next level. And so we provide you with the assessment to show you where your brain is, and two, those exercises that will target, stimulate, and challenge your brain to bring these intelligence up to the functional level of your well-developed intelligences. That's all we do, but in a very systematic way and the way the brain wants it done.